Hello everyone, let's look at uh, this integral here. We have x squared times cosine 3x, and this is also another integration by parts integral. And so before we start the problem, we are going to just review the formula here. We have integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. And so this integral of v du I highlighted in red. That's the key integral here. We just need to make sure that we can integrate this integral after we write our original integral in in this form and so let's look at this function here uh, when we are integrating this we are going to again just going to set up the table here we have the u and then du and then we have the v and then the dv so we are going to set up the, the table like this and remember that we need to figure out what u is and what dv is so that we can rewrite the integral in into the expression on the right hand side of this equation. So um, if you have seen my video before that I actually will let the u be the x square because I show that if you let the dv be um, the power function here, either whether they're at, it's an x or x to some power, when you find the antiderivative, you are going to raise the power by one more, which will probably just make things worse because that will be part of your integrand here. And so we are going to let u be x squared here. Okay, so let's choose u to be x squared. And then that means we can only choose what cosine 3x dx for the dv. So let's do that. Okay, now we need to find du and v. And so because u is x squared, when we take the derivative, we are going to just use the power rule. So we are going to get 2x and then dx. And the antiderivative of cosine 3x here, we know that um, when we differentiate sine, we are going to get the cosine, right? So the antiderivative will be sine. And then what about the argument inside the function? We actually will have the 3x here, right? So it's the same function inside the function. But now, you know that when you differentiate the sine 3x here, due to the chain rule, you are going to multiply the result by 3, but there is no 3 here. So you actually need to multiply by a constant here to cancel out the 3 that's that comes from the chain rule. So you need to multiply by the reciprocal of this coefficient of the x, which is 1 third. So we put the 1 third in the front. Okay. Now, we did the um, the UE table, and then we can start writing down the the right hand side of this formula here. So let's do it here. We have U times V, right? So we have U, which is X square. And then, so that's the U, and then the V is one third sine three X. So we put that over here. So times one third, and then sine three X. And then what is the next step? We are going to put minus, right? So we put the minus sign here, right here. So we have the minus sign and then the integral. What is the integral? Uh, what is the integrand? The integrand is V, right? So V is actually just this function right here. So we just copy all that here, which will be one third and then sine three X. And then we also need to put the DU as part of the integrand, and that's 2x dx, right? So we need to put that here. So we have 2x dx. And so now we see what we have here, and um, we should actually just clean up the expression so that we know what to do next. So let's rewrite the expression in a cleaner form. So we are going to get we are going to get one third x square and then sine three x. Now you can see that there was a coefficient here. There was a constant one third, and then there was also a two. So due to the constant multiple rule, we can take out the two and then the one third in outside the integral. So we are going to get lay the two over three, and then the integral. Now there was an x we are going to put it in front of the sign, right? So we are going to put the x here and then x sine 3x. 
and then dx. Okay, now you, you can see that this part is already done. We just need to worry about this integral here, which is actually the integral of v du, right? And so can we integrate this one? You can see that that's still a product of two functions. One of them is the power function, x to the first power, and then sine 3x, right? That's the trick function. And so what happened is that we, in this case, we we still need to use integration by parts on this integral here. That means we are going to apply the integration by parts one more time. Uh, what happens is that uh, I am going to reuse the variables, the u and, and the v0, right? So we are going to reuse them here. Let me just at least change the color so that you can see that they're different, right? So we'll do that here. Okay, so I'm going to set up the UE table again. So U is here, DU is here, and then V is here, and then DV is here. So just like before, I'm going to let U be the power function, and then I will let DV be the trick function. So let's put that there. So let U be X, and then DV is the sine 3X, right? So sine 3X and then dx. Okay, now what's next? We are going to find the du and the v. And the du is uh, the derivative of x is one, right? So you are just going to get one times dx, which is just dx. And then what about the v? The v is the antiderivative of the sine 3x. And so what we have here would be negative cosine, because when you differentiate cosine, you are going to have a negative sign. But this sign right here does not have a negative sign in front of it. So we just need to make sure that to cancel that negative sign out. So we need to have negative cosine. And just like before, we need to reverse the chain rule. So we need to multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient of the x inside the function. So the antiderivative here would be negative one third cosine three x. And so we can now continue with the problem. Okay, so continue with the problem here. We are going to get one third x squared and then sine three x minus two over three. And then now we can write uv, right? So uv here, so this x times negative one third cosine three x. So we have negative one third. I'm actually organizing the pieces when I'm as I'm writing down the function. So instead of just writing x times negative one third cosine three x, I can actually put down the constant first. And then I'll put the power function and then put the cosine three x, right? So we'll put that here. We have x here and then cosine three x. And then what is next? The next step is to write down the integral of v du, right? So we will do that here. So minus sign, and then the integral of v du. What is v? v is this expression here, like the one third cosine three x. So we just put that there. So like the one third cosine three x. And then the the du, right? The du is just the dx, so we put the dx here. And so everything is surrounded by the brackets, and you know that eventually we we have to uh, distribute the negative two thirds to all the turns in here. Okay, now continuing with the algebra and clean up. Uh, again, we we still need to do one more integration here. But that would be an easy one because you do not have a product two functions anymore. You can treat that that's a constant times a function. That's just a simple trick function here. So let's continue with the steps. Okay. So we have one third x squared sine three x. And then now you can distribute the two thirds to each turn inside the bracket. And so we are going to get what negative two thirds times negative one third is positive two over nine, and then x cosine three x. Now this one, 
let's look at the signs. We have negative, another negative sign, and then one more negative sign. Here we have an odd number of negative signs, so the final result will be negative in this case. So we are going to get a minus sign here. And see that you can pull this constant outside the integral, which will be multiplied by this two thirds, right? So you're going to multiply them together, which is two times one and then three times three, which would give you two over nine. And then the integral of cosine three x dx. Okay, so those two terms are done. We just need to integrate this one, but this one we can integrate that easily. We have actually done that here, so we can just use the result that we have here, right? So we can write down the final answer. So the final answer would be one third x squared sine of three x, and then plus two over nine x cosine three x. Now we have two over nine, right? and then times this one third because we're integrating this cosine three x. So two over nine times the one third, two times one is two, and then nine times three is 27. So we have two over 27, and then we have sine three x. And then of course we have the constant of integration. You can just put a plus C right here, and then that's our final answer. Yeah, so I'm going to integrate this same function again in the next video. And that in that video, I am going to use the tabular method. And we can see that in that tabular method, it's a lot more efficient than doing this. So I will see you next time.